Okay, so this is Chris's ghetto how to carbonize a titanium blade. So, over here, you've just got a 12 volt charger, battery charger, car charger. Uh, this one was a cheap ass one from uh, Harbor Freight. It's got a 2 amp and a 6 amp setting, 12 volt. Also does 6 volt, but I find that the 12 volt 6 amp works great. Uh, the newer battery chargers have a save function so they won't spark while, uh, while they're hooked up. So you have to fake it out. So I've got two leads here, two 9 volt batteries, piggyback them just like that. That'll give you, well, I mean, mine are kind of dead, but brand new about 18 volts positive you've been I've got old test leads so I've bent them and opened them up so they would fit in the positive and the negative side of the uh, battery to fake out the charger to turn on so I just click those in here click and negative side Heard the battery charger click. Alright, so now my battery's charger's live. When I get to the new shop, I will definitely do something different because now I've got four leads hanging out instead of just two. Dremel, charge, uh, etcher engraver and your titanium blade so I'm left-handed I'm thinking I'm gonna keep this one so I'm gonna carbonize the right side so you'll see the bevel over here so I'm just gonna mount that to my table with a clamp Good right there. Make sure it's comfortable for you to carbonize the whole edge. Okay. The positive clamp, well, we'll start. The negative clamp goes to the blade. Where'd that go? All right. So we're going to hook that to the back side. Just like that. Can you see that? It's a little low. Okay, and then the positive, modified the battery charger clip so it actually fit right there. So now, you got a tungsten bit, have the setting on the lowest setting on the, uh, on the engraver, and now the battery charger causes an arc and deposits the tungsten to the edge. So let's see if I can get this to work on camera. You just want to do it as even as you can. And yes, it does get hot. I uh, picked up the cheap Harbor Freight engraver that does not have a replaceable tip. And it got so hot, it melted everything on the inside. So that was pretty much a one use. Try and get it as even as you can. Does it look better? The harder you push, 
Uh, actually, the first layer, the harder you put, it'll stick to the blade. It'll ground out. So start with light strokes, do your coat, and then go back and push a little harder and kind of even it out. See how it's stuck there? I pushed too hard. is pretty much it. So we're gonna focus on it. There we go. Come on. Somewhere around here we'll be able to see it. Trying to do this backwards. And there you go. And carbonized edge. So now, I'll sharpen this edge. Hope that helps. Just, uh, this is my second time ever doing it. And the first time worked out great. So I wanted to make a titanium knife. So here it is. It's hard to do this backwards. Alright guys, take it easy. See you next time. Thanks for watching.